about to try our hand at ice fishing. It's our man Samuel's birthday today. He's 14. <laughs> he loves to go fishing. <laughs> Samuel will now fire up the auger. Oh, it's turned it to on. It, it was off. It really into the now it will run. Don't whisk yourself away. Oh, man. Oh. Wow! It smells like we're cutting down trees. The key is to skim the top gently, get rid of all the dross. This reminds me of my uncle and his still. So it begins. We're hoping for some excellent recreational activity. I've caught one. Kyle has caught one. His is much larger than mine. Compare these two suckers. It's like a grown man and his little brother. Here's number two for me. It's the same size. We are now at a total of five fish altogether. I truly believe the success comes from drinking black coffee. The rainbow, right in the upper lip. Our birthday boy is successful. Should be good eating. Fat little guy. Here we are. It's coming up on noon o'clock. We've punched a few holes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. This one is my brand new hole that I'm going to try now. Do we got? There we go. Oh Another man! Samuel pulls out a nice one, almost King Salmon size. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Don't drop him right in. Here on the pond. Kyle's oh, sitting on the pot. On. to entice the fish, make it want the bait, do a little, a little dance, oh, oh, oh man, definitely, oh boy, something. might be a big one, oh, 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 oh boy, it comes, oh, 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 oh boy, stick fish. Samuel is making his way back from taking a whiz over at the tree line. We're happy he didn't use this hole. First, I thought that was his whiz. Would have definitely had a health condition. Samuel just pulled three fish, four, four fish out of this hole. Meanwhile, Kyle and I have sat at multiple holes nearby and not so much as a nibble. Some mountain sledders. Kyle just pulled another one out. Wow! Here we are! We got 
was another one. A beautiful rainbow trout. Kyle is having great success oh, due yeah. to his camouflage. His helps that wow! <laughs> Here I am with the first set of the day. We all know whether it's fishing or predator calling. The first set of the day does not produce. I've caught my limit, so I'm just catching and releasing fish. For curiosity's sake, seeing if I can get this first set to produce, this first hole. So far, nothing. A successful day. Final count. Samuel at 12 with two releases. Kyle at 11 with two releases. And I have come away with eight. I'd say it was a wonderful birthday for our man Samuel. Hi. So we go up to clean up fish. Very stinky. Oh man, they're biting each other in there. Scraping off the scales. It's like all holding together by the slime which is technically fish snot, mucus. We have three species of fish here. First is the rainbow trout, the most common in the lake. Second, it's the landlocked salmon. I think they call it the coconut. Coconut. Lastly, we have... Coconut. Arctic... Do they eat nuts? Arctic char. Not sure if you can see, it's a skinnier fish. It has pink spots all Pina down the body. Wow. So we'll see how the flavor is later on. Our man Samuel is a fish nerd. There we go. Oh yeah, it's, it's a fish. lot of it's fish snot right it's there. <laughs> snorting, snorting ham. Explain to us what you're doing here. Oh, I'm cutting him up the belly, hoping he doesn't poop on me. Oh, he's just pooped on me. Look at that. So while I'm pulling out his hat, and the last thing you do on these fish is carefully scrape out this bloodline at the bottom. Careful not to include my crocs in the video. It's not an admirable fashion statement. We'll be blowing this out. I don't think they actually want to see this on our channel. Oh! Wow! Great. And that, my friends, is how you clean a fish. So here we are, we're going to cook up the tom again from last week. We're also going to cook up the fish from yesterday. My man Josiah and Kyle are not here due to the COVID-19 quarantine. I'm just going to cook this by myself. So what we're going to do with the trout, what we did here, we took some Kalamata olives, some artichoke hearts, goat cheese, fresh onions and garlic. The challenge here is keeping the stuffing from falling out. So probably what I'm going to do Take some wooden toothpicks right here, soaked in water. We're going to try to stitch the bellies together. We don't want this to burn in the grill. We're just going to char them in the grill. What we're going to do with the tom again, you can take right along the breastbone. First of all, took a big knife, split the breastbone, open this cavity up so it lays flat on the grill. You're going to take a knife, just come right along the breastbone. You cut about halfway down. You see a large pocket open up right here. Get that moisture, get the sun-dried tomatoes and the Kalamata olives and the artichoke hearts. Smoky flavor from the grill, from the barbie. Had the trout wrapped in foil to keep the cheese inside. We thought better of it. The toothpicks weren't quite going to work out perfectly. So right here in front of me I have the arctic char. Very, very mild flavor. Pleasantly surprised. This is the kokanee, landlocked salmon. Very soft meat. It's a slightly stronger flavor than the arctic char. It's a large rainbow trout I caught. Did not pick up the smoke of the grill. Probably would have opened up this foil, smoked it a little bit longer, but I was doing this again. Mm -hmm. 